Good evening, friends. Uh, a warm welcome to you all. Without wasting any time, let's directly uh, allow Sir to go about his uh, moon yogas that he's going to teach us today. And he's going to teach us 10 unique uh, yogas. That's what he has told me. Sir, a warm welcome to you. Friends, Thank you, good evening. Good morning, everybody. Be with us through this session. And a request to you all, please be on mute all the time. Only when sir asks you, you can ask questions now. Please, sir, can unmute and, right? So please don't miss the tokens. Thank you so much. Yes, uh, one request uh, to uh, Shikaji also. Uh, can we enforce yes. all? Sorry, sir. Can you enforce the mute all and then unmute once? Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I have made you the code, so you can do that. Yeah. No participants to unmute. Oh, no. So, William, sir, warm welcome to you. You'll have to unmute, William, sir. Yeah. Yeah. You're saying something, sir? Yeah, you can go ahead, sir. Yeah, or just. To the prayers. Hari Om Ganana Antva Ganapati Kumbhava Mahe Kavim Kavi Nabu Mukasavastamam Cheshtara Jam Brahmanam Brahmanaswat Anasham Mudita Seed Sadhanam Prano Devi Saraswati Vajayver Vajini Vadi Vinama Vitraya Vadu Ganeshaya Namaha Saraswati Namaha Sri Guru Pyo Namaha Hari Om Om Kurpavasvaha, Katsavita Vare Engamar Hodeva Sidi Mahidina Shodeva Om Aditya Iswamaya Maglai Padach Guru Shoprasani Vyastara Oke Devinma Om Padmat Padach Mehema Rupai Devita Na Somit Kachat Special Prayers for the Moon. Now, today we will go into Luna Yogas. See, initially the first yogas which you will have to go is Navas Yogas. There are about 33 varieties. You have 1,800 variations of Navasa Yogas. Navasa Yogas is for just day patterns, how a planetary positions will be in plant, uh, how many planets in one house, how many planets occupying, how many signs. So you there are about 33 patterns you will have to learn. Once you learn the patterns, and the next important thing when you come to learn astrology about Yogas, you will have to learn only Chandra Yogas. See, the moment any beginner learns astrology, Starts the basic, uh, he knows about the nine planets, 12 zodiacs, uh, and the 12 bhavas, he knows. Next thing, when he wants to know about the combination of planets, he must start with Luna Yoga. So you don't, don't go with Dana Yoga, Raja Yoga, or any other Yoga. So you don't even go with the Lagna related Yoga. So you must first, there's very two important yoga, Yogas you'll have to understand. Uh, Kemadruma and Sakata Yoga. Any chart, when you open, the first thing you'll have to know is there Kemadruma in the horoscope or there is Sakata Yoga. For before going into that, you must know certain Luna Yogas. So the first chart, in, uh, when you enter into the chart, you'll have to understand the horoscope from the moon's point of view. How is the horoscope? So we will just look at how the horoscope is from the moon's aspect. So what are the most important, uh, how, what is the Yogas which will uh, arise from the moon? We will discuss in this session. Okay, so the first important, there are two very important things. There is Sunava and Anava. So first, for any Luna Yoga, you must understand it should not be, moon should be strong. So depending on the moon strength, uh, what is it? It's Pakshabala and Sthanabala. Both of it is very, very important for uh, seeing the situation. So let's say, what is say the same yogas for Amavasya moon or a Nietzsche moon, it, the whole meaning will change. So it is very, very important. And for more, all these Luna Yogas, there is no Rahu Ketu involved. So yeah, I will tell you, that there are no Rahu Ketu can blemish the Yoga. But if there is no, in Sunaba Anaba Yoga, there is no Rahu Ketu coming. So, okay. So the most important thing, a planet in the second. I asked in DV, which is the most powerful, which is the best place for a planet to be. Everybody said Kendra. Some people said Kona. Some, some even, I just know, I took somebody said no, 10th house. 
uh, no it's adi yoga 678 from the moon uh, or with the moon all you have gajakesri guru uh, chandra mangala yoga many other combination you have uh, uh, amala yoga and there is a benefic in 10th from the moon but if i have, I have to tell you the best thing you need to have is a second from the moon why second from the moon what nourish nourishes strengthens the moon is very very important it's it's not the moon alone any planet there is some it is very 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 important there is a planet uh, with a particular planet or second or 12th from the planet uh, for, for in fact this rule is applicable for all planets but because sun and moon are the guiding force so what is it, it, it this becomes like a very prerequisite or it's like a yoga if there is no planet in second or uh, if there is a planet and if there is no planet what is the meaning in fact the, uh, the authorities have not said why from jupiter there is no second or uh, saturn there is no uh, uh, two and 12 but in classics they will always say when a jupiter is alone it doesn't function properly you need to have some planet uh, uh, with jupiter or if you take nadi you will always you know second and 12 to a planet is very very important is always seen so uh, it is very very important the first in fact the best place not for moon for every other planet the two and 12 from a planet is the most powerful Uh, what is a point to be that and here it, they do not differentiate between malefic and benefic anybody can be there somewhere the moon needs support some kind of even if it is a malefic support or a benefic support moon needs at least a planet in the second and 12th now what is the meaning of second what is the meaning of 12th 12th is your past or 12th is your support so the support from the past a 12th is also your house of enjoyment so your planet in the 12th house which anubha yoga forms is like an enjoyment you are going to enjoy and the support you will be getting from the planet the present or what is before you what is going to happen before you immediately what is going to happen or even you can call it the present or the future is the sunubha yoga so it is very very important to have a very nice so for a horoscope to have a planet in second from the moon a strong planet a benefic planet or if it is a malefic planet is strong is one of the biggest assets in the horoscope so there are other classics which will say some people say no uh, sunabha should be fourth and tenth uh, no, just not two and 12 it should be there are other views but most of the classics they they understand where it is only in two and 12 so people though it what i say it is also taken four and 12 is equally good enough but two and 12 are very very special so the results are wealthy virtuous learned renowned noble happy intelligent good status it slightly varies from planet to planet there is no rahu ketu and sun in sunabha yoga it is only these five, five uh, tara grahas other planets are not there so uh, mars is there see what whichever planet is there i have just given a, uh, um, what is a sm- small small thing you can build it yourself the karagatva of the planet will be fully pronounced if there is a planet in the second from the moon see they are not even saying with the moon for some reason the, the yoga is not about being gajakesri yoga chandramangala yoga uh, all that will have with the moon but when coming to sunabha the first thing is it is not with the moon it is second at the moon there is a meaning different when let's say venus and moon are together mercury and moon together it has a different meaning but something very special when a planet is in the second from the moon so the karagatva of the moon is more pronounced when with I mean, it is the second from the moon. So, from Mars, it is very valorous. Well, naturally, there's 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 an assertive, cruel uh, tendency to it. One is curt, but it is wealthy. Moon and Mars always coming to it is wealthy, commander and rebellious. Mercury, you know, Mercury being in the second house, uh, scholarly, skillful, erudite, good in fine arts and music, good physic, religious, benevolent. Jupiter, in, apart from the Gajakesri Yoga, which Jupiter, uh, Ju- uh, uh, Jupiter. I mean, one five nine from the moon, one four seven ten from the moon, uh, and even three six ten eleven from the moon, or six eight from the moon. Next most important is a chart having second. If there is a, a strong Jupiter in second, I will give an example. Mithun Lakna with Jupiter exalted in the second, it can be the biggest, most powerful combination in the horoscope. Having Jupiter, so it's such a protective combination to have a strong Jupiter in second to the moon. or it is even kumbhalakna and uh, uh, having jupiter in the second uh, can be very very strong so it's very learned preceptor famous wealthy good family favored by the king good natured and long life venus naturally what is it uh, 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 having venus uh, one will be very good looking attractive prosperous brave blessed with good family vehicles and uh, houses all the pleasures of life 
uh, one will have. Being with moon, at, see these combination, what is the meaning when they are together? What I say, it, it takes a different blend, it takes a different mix. But what I say, it is best when it is in the second. See, the Purushatva, one, uh, one Lagna or a planet is, is Shiva. Second house is Shakti. So it is like a marriage. Always the planet where a planet is sitting becomes Shiva. And the second house is Shakti. So it is like a marriage, like a Shiva Shakti marriage. So it is like, what is the, the planet in the second is the feminine aspect or the Shakti aspect. So what it gives, produces, nourishes uh, to the planet behind it is very important. So a planet in the second becomes uh, uh, 12th to the planet behind it. So it is very, very important rather than con being in conjunct with it. In conjunct, there are a lot of other aspects. They are too close to it uh, can create planetary or all these problems can be there. It more it, see it's in with together with them, it brings about only a characteristics. What I say, it brings about a nature. It does not produce a function. Only a planet in two, four, six, eight, twelve Shakti houses, even science, and which is second is the best house, bring out the best results. It's very important. So naturally, when the two and four. Houses are the best houses for a planet. Two, four, eight are the best to be. So second will be the best. See, even Saturn in the second from the moon, it is not given back. Skillful, wealthy, usually is, uh, in the classics mentioned as a uh, head of a village. A uh, 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 head, a uh, village head, uh, it is there. Very talented, one is very dutiful. Uh, maybe for the mother, it is not a good thing. So even Mars and Saturn in the second is welcomed. So naturally, if any anybody has a Mercury, Jupiter, Venus, or, or what is it? Or he enjoys when Venus is there. He's very learned when Mercury is there. He's very blessed, divine. Uh, he has Vaksiddhi when Jupiter is there. For astrology, Jupiter in the second from the moon, more than second from the Lagna. Anybody having Jupiter, moon in the second with Jupiter is a fantastic combination. Okay. See, this is, I'm just giving you one combination, Merlin Monroe's horoscope. There are a lot of horoscopes, so I, I didn't mention much. So almost you will have just one planet in the second from the moon is a very common factor. So she has Jupiter and Mars in the second from the moon. Do you know her looks, uh, how famous she was? There are, and again, if you want to take Shruta Kriti's words, she is also having fourth house uh, Venus and second of tenth. So even the fourth and tenth is like uh, another variation of a Sunapa Yoga. So Jupiter, Mars in the second, Venus in the fourth, and Saturn in the tenth. So there are four. See how uh, uh, okay, Saturn becomes an Anava Yoga. Yeah. So this is uh, the first most, I think one of the most powerful Chandra Yoga will be a Sunava Yoga. So, okay, we will move to the next is Anava Yoga. Anubha Yoga is in the 12th from the moon. So it, sun is not there. You, you don't have Rahu Kedu part of, of this combination or you don't have any other extra Saturn in Uranus, Neptune, Pluto. It is only the five Taragrahas. Again, Sruta Kirti mentioned, planet in the 10th might give, uh, give rise to Anubha Yoga. So this is what, what is Anubha Yoga. Anubha Yoga is the support or what is uh, your past, what is uh, and your enjoyments. So any planet in 12th to any planet, not more, any planet, regard the enjoyment regarding the Karagatvam you will meet. So moon, you know, moon is your experience, your mind, your emotion. So any planet in the 12th is about your, uh, what kind of mental state you have. It's very, very important. So it, it uh, indicates your mental state. So what I say, uh, the, the results are eloquent, virtuous, material comforts, good looking, enjoys life. So it's more about the pleasures, pleasures of life. So a good, a benefic planet will give the pleasures of life. So Mars, one is arrogant, a respectable warrior, short and but honest, but well-built, praiseworthy. He will get the support of Mars. Mars related Karagatham in the 12th from uh, moon, one will get. In 12th from Lagna, it is a different meaning. Any planet in 12th from Lagna, it is a different meaning. It is loss. But in 12th from the moon, it, it is strengthens the moon. It is together with the moon and 12th from it and 2nd from it is a different meaning. When it is in two different signs, it is a totally different meaning. So Mercury. Mercury is eloquent. Again, the same erudite, well, uh, uh, well versed in music, dance and writing, orator, uh, 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 well built and famous. Okay, this is Jupiter, virtuous, learned, magnanimous, wealthy, renowned, noble. 
this is excellent to have jupiter in the 12th house this is like a very always somebody a blessing somebody sitting behind and looking and guarding you uh, jupiter in the second is something what, what is going to happen before you so there is something you have a lot of poor up here behind you is what jupiter in the 12th house venus is i think it's the, the best for enjoying more than the second house 12th house anybody having from the i think he will be the most enjoyable person a nice strong moon sitting like, imagine mesha lagna exalted moon uh, venus in the 12th or it is mithun lagna with uh, with uh, moon and rishabha uh, this is one of the best combination it can be imagine a neetha moon with venus in the 12th house that will change the nature a neetha moon venus in the 12th house it will be a deep based uh, temperament or you can have tula libra moon with venus neetha in the 12th house you, can, you must read it accordingly depending on the strength of the planet what is the meaning uh, it, let's say it's amavasya moon and venus in uh, in that uh, 12th uh, what is it it can mean lo a loose character so generally it is charming like when men favored by the king famous wealthy material affluence saturn it is rich committed leader talented connection with sin this women anyway if somebody is born that way is born with uh, sade sati okay so this is about anubhayoga we will see who's the most famous person who has got anubhaya see amita bachan's horoscope so he has four planets anubhayoga so he is eight from lagna but it is mars mercury sun venus and jupiter in the 10th as another version of anubhayoga so he has so many planets in the 12th from the moon okay there is other yoga, luna yoga so i'll explain to you there is a uh, uh, sort of a gajakesari like forming but the most important is this anubhaya yoga so any doubts before we go to the next sunaba anubhaya yoga anybody has any doubts we will go there's one oh, no. oh wait wait i forgot about i have got kema druma to finish then we will take doubts uh durdara yoga see this is again okay a planet in the 6th is blessed the sun in the 12th is enjoyable and pleasurable now imagine if when there is two planets in either side of the moon and especially if they are benefics or let it be even a malefic and benefic this is a blessing any horoscope i will tell you the best raj yoga you can spot in the horoscope is when there are two strong benefics or two strong planets sitting in either side of the moon so it is like a shubhakatri it can be a papakatri when saturn and mars comes it is a different nature so it's definitely saturn and mars though it still provides it's not a very good it it must be one benefic and one mal malefic it's preferably a benefic in front and malefic behind is, is a better combination so but a uh, you see a horoscope with two jupiter and venus or jupiter and mercury or venus and mercury surrounding the moon i think most of the biggest i've seen raj yogas is when a person has this combination that's nothing like even gajagesri i've seen gajagesri it is so common to get gajagesri because uh, uh, you see the almost one uh, fourth of the population will have gajagesri but what i say to have a shubhakatri of moon is a very rare of a uh, feature okay there are about 180 uh, 80 varieties of uh, durdara so it uh, see Ma i'll just give you some few uh, mars and mercury so mars and mercury did, did dishonest but wealthy intelligent wicked critical greedy respected in the family and illicit relationship with uh, with a much older person they're supposed to be mars and mercury surrounding they say he has the person can have the, uh, uh, unnecessary connections extra marital affairs and connection mars and jupiter renowned prosperous short tempered guardian and holds much wealth ma venus and mars good looking valerius good spouse fortunate argumentative very talented saturn and mars is this uh, a negative combination because it's a pavakatri illicit relationship many vices short temper drama monger uh, holds a lot but still holds a lot of money jupiter mercury this is one the best if you see a horoscope with jupiter mercury surrounding a strong Mer mercury and me jupiter and mercury are not each are or not gone strong i think could be the best in, in the horoscope religious virtuous learned erudite wealthy renowned eloquent and a renunciant makes a person finally a very spiritual person and mercury and venus another excellent feature to be eloquent it is eloquent fortunate attractive interested in uh, artistic and creative pursuit it's like is he like a minister becomes a minister mercury and, uh, and saturn earns from a different country less education inimical to this it, this particular combination might take a person to uh, another place jupiter venus another version 
his material and spiritual wisdom, valorous, suave, congenial, wealthy, good-looking, renowned, and with high connections. Jupiter and Saturn, material comforts, humble, suave, good looks, composed, learned. Venus and Saturn, mature, head of the family, talented, very rich, liked by the ruler, liked by the opposite uh, sex. So a chart having planets on either side, preferably two benefits or one can benefit, can and a good strong moon and a, the planet in the 2 and 12 are strong. I can say this is the best yoga in the horoscope can do. This can be nothing else better than having, there's no other yoga I think better than a, a Durtara yoga. This is Aishwarya Rai's horoscope, you can see. She has Venus, Moon, Rahu. By itself, it's a different yoga. I'll come to that later. Here she has Jupiter, though Nietzsche, it is, uh, it is Nietzsche Banga because uh, the, uh, the exaltation Lord uh, is in his own side and Mercury on the other side. So this is an example of uh, Durdurati Yoga. So yeah, this is billionaire Christina Onassis. She has Moon, Mars, so, uh, moon mass by itself, uh, uh, another uh, yoga, has Jupiter in the second. See, this, is this is one of the fantastic yogas. Jupiter in the second, Venus, Mercury behind it. Moon mass by itself and another yoga. I will come to the horoscope. So if you just see, just see the wonder. She's a billionaire. Okay. You can see the same, I think, the date of birth is just one date of birth. And Rajdhikanth has the same planetary position. Just the Lagna is different. What is say he's 74 and what is say he's still superstar. What is the speciality about this horoscope is Jupiter in the second, Venus and Mercury in the twelfth, with naturally a Chandra Mangala Yoga also in the horoscope. If there are many other yogas in the horoscope, I can see so many yogas in the horoscope. But the most important is when you have a exalted planet with moon, next to it, you have Jupiter in the Kendra and Venus Mercury, which is fifth from Lakna, is twelfth from the moon. So you see, see how. Both the where how the uh, sunapa and Andapa is forming is in a in a forming in a kendra and kona, so it's very very important how it falls. It is very very important how it falls. So so this is uh, a, a, the best yoga. Now what happens when you do not have a planet? It's called kemadruma. So the first thing when you see is when you look at a horoscope when there is no planet in two and twelve. What happens? Okay, this is very, very important. You, you must understand what happens when in a horoscope 2 and 12. There are exceptions, but still a horoscope with no planets in 2 and 12 from it. Uh, see, what is Kemadruma? Kemadruma means lonely, isolated. So that moon with a planet, if it feels like being with somebody. Somebody is there with somebody there to protect, look after. There is a guardian. He's not lonely always. That psychological feeling is not there. A Kemadruma will go into depression very easily. So it is, there are exceptions. So the exception is when there are Mars, Mercury, Jupiter, Venus, Saturn in the 1, 4, 7, tenths from the moon, the Kemadruma is cancelled. So the complete definition of Kemadruma is when planets other than Sun, Rahu, Kedu are not present in the, uh, in the 1, 2, 4, 7, 10 from the moon or no planets aspect, even planets aspecting the moon, Jupiter in a time aspects the moon or there is a planet in the 7th aspecting the moon or there is a planet with the moon, or moon is exalted, moon is in his own house, moon is in Shukla Baksha. So it, you may not feel it, but still, uh, what I say, you have to know it's not, it, uh, what I say, it's cancelled totally. A horoscope having a, pla a pla what I say, a planet in 2 and 12 from the moon uh, 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 is different. But let's say, I, I think the best is a planet in 4, 7, 10 is the best combination, or a planet with it is the best combination. Okay, so uh, 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 if Jupiter's very moon is very strong, what I say it will not matter how, how much. So I okay, this is one particular horoscope. This is an actress uh, um, from the south. She's an actress. She has no planet in two and twelve, but she has Shukra in, in the tenth and Jupiter in the seventh. So it is sort of compensated. Horoscope, but still she's married, divorced, no children, but she's an actress. So financially lucky, but she lost all the money. Okay, so she's still in the field, but not very, very, very strong. So it is like a mixed, what to say, 
there is Gajagesri Yoga. So that supported her. So Venus uh, in the 10th is uh, it, it's Namala uh, Kirti Yoga or Ramala Yoga. So that is there. But still the chart has uh, what you call uh, uh, Turdara affecting it my in, in spite part of the exceptions. Okay. I will take some doubts now. Yeah. Anybody has anything to ask? No, no. Before we go to the other uh, Chandra Yoga, anybody has any doubts? Yeah. Tell me, sir. They are Pratibha. No. Tell me. Uh, yeah, no. sir. Please, can you detail uh, again? I think you skipped for Anfa Yoga, uh, Saturn. No, no. What will be the effect? Yeah, yeah. Nothing. Chat, no. yeah, the, yeah, you want Anabha Yoga. Saturn. Rich, committed, leader, talented, connection with listening to women. Oh, I must have missed it. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Even Saturn, see, in second and twelve from the moon, which actually it means a person is born with Sati Sati. Any planet in two and twelve from the moon is supposed to be very strong. It is like somebody is there supporting the moon. That is the meaning. It is very, very important. The first thing you see in the horoscope is the moon alone. Is the moon with Rahu Ketu or what is it, with which planet is sitting? If there is a benefit in 2 and 12 from, from the moon, it is a very important. With the moon, it the moon becomes into a different flavor. Second and 12 are what is the support and how it is going to get nourished is the meaning. Okay? Yeah, it was Mr. Sony Gangadri. Please, sir. Yes, sir. So nice. So, uh, good evening, sir. Sir, yeah. what will be the effect of uh, a planet with the moon in between the other uh, houses, two and two? Oh, see, with the moon, what you say, it becomes like a conjunction. So, it, what you no, say? No, it, what, what, I, what I meant, what will be the effect of Anfa and Sinafa Yoga when other planet is in between the uh, planet in two and planet in two? With the no, moon. no. Uh, you, you are, you, see, if a planet is uh, with the moon, with the moon, you have to take the degrees, and, and that will become the planet which is creating the anaba. Let's say a Scorpio, a Scorpio moon is there. You are having second house Jupiter. Moon is in fifteen degree, but eighteenth degree there is another planet sitting down. So you can't take Jupiter is in the second, but the planet is sitting. The the what is it? And that will be the it, it will give the like Baba Madhya. This is in the same Baba. Uh, that particular planet gives the effect. Okay. Let's say you have, in case you have Rahu Kedu sitting, Kedu is at 18 degree and Moon is at 15 degree and Jupiter is a second. You can't say it is a, uh, it is a Sunnava Yoga. Yes, sir. It is blocked. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. It's a very important question, actually. Because you can have uh, moon and moon Rahu, moon Ketu together, uh, or you can have moon Saturn together, and then you can have a benefic in second, and you can you can say no, I have Venus in the second, Jupiter in the second, but actually the in degrees will have to take if a planet is there with the moon, that planet will 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 take precedence. Sir, so the yoga is there or it is law. No, no, if it is another planet, let's say what, uh, Moon and Jupiter are there together, Jupiter is in a higher degree, Venus is in the second house, you should not say uh, 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 Sunaba is caused by Venus, it is only caused by Jupiter. But in case Jupiter, the Rahu Kedu is there, it, the yoga is blocked. Blocked. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, Pratibha ma'am. Uh, what about uh, Rahu Ketu in uh, second or twelfth, sir, from Moon? No. The, the yoga, it, it uh, what is say part of Sunaba Anaba, Rahu Kedu will not come. Only Rahu okay. Kedu coming into it will cause negativity. It is not part of a yoga. It, it disturbs a uh, moon very, very bad. Okay. It Thank forms you. a part of Daridra Yoga. Mm -hmm. Moon with Rahu Ketu or moon with Rahu Ketu in 2 and 12 with it, aspected by a malefic, is a Daridra Yoga. Okay. Unless it is forming in. Moon is exalted with Rahu in the ninth or fifth house, uh, then it is a different catch. Yes, Kishore, sir. Um, Guruji, if I heard right, uh, it means that we are talking about, we are giving precedence to uh, the degrees uh, rather than the signs themselves to cause these yoga. Am I right? No, no, not, not let me. It is, it, actually, the signs only cause the yoga. It is not the degrees which cause. Oh. The, the problem is when you take the degrees, is, let's say a moon is with a planet. And then you have another planet in the second. Only then you take the degrees. Moon conjunct a planet and uh, there is also a planet in second. 
that uh, what is it the planet with the moon can be behind or in front of the moon only then you will you will say which is there with the moon okay you understand what i'm saying oh, okay but then this confusion uh, now arises that if there are two grahas in the second from moon or two grahas in the 12th from moon then we have to consider the one degrees that is ah, with the degrees which is there with the degrees you can say but anyway it is very good let's say if you have uh, uh, two benefits it's like both of them uh, will cause a yoga Okay, but the confusion will be when there's a malefic and a benefic together, and then we have to the the, the planet which is immediately in front will will give, give the maximum benefit because there are so many variations. I've just put one one planet. You can have two and two. You can have three and one. You can have so many other. There are hundred and eighty variations of Durgara Yoga. Can be there. Okay. Uh, 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 can have hundred and eighty variations. Will be. I've just given you uh, just one example of uh, of it. It can be Jupiter, Venus in the second, and uh, maybe uh, you can have Mercury in the twelfth, which is fantastic. Mm -hmm. Or it can be a Mercury in Sun in the twelfth. So Mercury Sun may, is not part of the yoga, but uh, surrounding the uh, uh, being part of it can change the whole thing. Or imagine Rahu in the second and uh, Mars and Saturn in the twelfth house. So it's very very important. First thing, it's not the lagna which you have to see. How is the moon surrounded? The lunar yoga is the first to see, and for that it is very very important. You see the sunapa and anapa is the most important you will have to see. Only after understanding, analyzing the moon can you move forward to any other combination. Any yogas, there is no panchamaha purusha yoga or so many other yogas are there. So many raja yogas will come. All that is after you analyze these basic lunar yogas. Only then you go into any other yogas. There are so many Raja, fantastic Raja yogas. Are there Jain yogas? Are there many other? Uh, there. But first, you want to say, you know, just understand the moon because moon is what gives you results, and all the results come from the dasa bhukti, and dasa bhukti flow from the moon. So it is very very important. Only if the moon is well placed, will any yoga work. There is even a particular sloka which go which says, if a person who is having kema druma yoga, it is like. Uh, uh, when elephants see a pack of lions, what happens? What is it? The, the elephants run away. That is what happens to a yoga. Yes, Rima. Namaste, sir. Namaste. Uh, so, let's say from the moon, if you have a malefic and K2, hmm. then you concentrate on the degrees? Uh, I'm, where is moon? Where is K2? Say, like I have moon, uh, from the moon, Saturn, Ketu are in the second, Kanjam. Okay. No, now, Ketu uh, will move move towards the moon. So, which is, which is closer to the moon, Saturn or Ketu? I think Ketu because it's moving ah, back. Okay. No? Okay. Yeah. yeah. If, if Ketu is closer to the moon, it, there is no Saturn in the second. It is only Ketu. So, you are not oh. having uh, uh, okay. the effect of Saturn. It is more of Saturn, Ketu in the second. Okay. So that's how you take it. Ah, that's how you. Okay. Especially you. if it is Rahu Ketu sitting, it it cuts the effect of a benefit coming to you. If there is a you have, let's say, especially you have second house, two planets, and if Rahu is away from it, from the moon, it's a different thing. But if Rahu is closer, Rahu will be cutting away. It is like a party in between. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Thank you. So, I think I'll clear with this Sunaba, Anaba, uh, Durtira, and Kemadruba. So, it's like Kemadruba, there's one more Sakata Yoga. Both are very important. Does a horoscope has Kemadruma or a horoscope has Sakata Yoga is very, very important. Before that, we'll go into one more uh, uh, yoga. Chandradi Yoga. You have a Lagnadi Yoga also. Chandradi Yoga. This is again a very misunderstood yoga. This yoga happens when benefits Jupiter, Mercury, Venus occupy 6, 7, 8 from the moon. So this is the best combination. You have preferably Jupiter is in the, I think, uh, in the 7th and Mercury in the 6th and um, Venus in the 8th. Should, uh, no, Mercury in the 8th, Venus in the 6th and Jupiter in the 7th is the best combination. Because when Jupiter is in the 6th and 8th, it can cause your Sakata Yoga. But it, the Sakata Yoga is cancelled when there is a Chandradi Yoga. Again, there is a uh, there's a question. How does this yoga form? Uh, all the three benefits in these three signs, or if but, but the classic says no. All these three benefits in sixth only 
or seventh only, in eighth only, or two in sixth, one in seven, or two in seven, or one in eighth will cause. What is this yoga means? The most negative aspects of a horoscope is the sixth, seventh, and eighth house. Sixth, you know what happens? Sixth, all your disease, your oppositions, uh, 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 health problems, all you get. Seventh is a margasthana. Eighth is your death house. So this is out of any house. These three houses are the most malefic uh, aspects of a house. Imagine you have three benefits sitting down there. It all are blocked totally. But if they're sitting only, there's one benefit sitting in sixth or seventh or eighth, it has a different meaning. But when you have all the three benefits sitting in, in these houses, it arrests, what I say, puts a stop to this and it, the whole thing, you will never feel the effect of the sixth, seventh, the marga effect. It becomes by itself a very powerful yoga. So it is very, very important. I think it, uh, rather than, let's say, all the planet being in the eighth or sixth, three benefits the sixth, three benefit the sixth, it is more healthier if they, uh, the, the best formation is each one planet in in the sixth and seventh and the eighth. If they are there, it will be the, the best. Let's say all the three benefits in the eighth, still it is a powerful benefit because from there, they aspect the second house. It is a dana yoga. If they are in the sixth, they aspect the twelfth. So the effect negativity of the twelfth is cancelled. If they are in the seventh, the marga aspect is there. It is strength in the lagna. In the seventh, we don't, we know, we know by itself, it's in the kendra, it is very, very good. So it, uh, this, there is a lagnadi version also, lagna adi yoga and chandra adi, but it is very powerful. I've only seen when, when uh, it is these three benefits in six, seven, eight from the moon separately, it works very, very good. You have to carefully analyze it. And these, they, uh, these planets must not be nature, planets must not be combus, these planets must not be weak. The moon by itself must be weak. Moon, a full moon or very close to the full moon with Jupiter, Mercury and Venus being there can be a fantastic combination. So it's very, very important. The moon is three, four days, three, four, five days or, or this place, say three days before the full moon or three days after the full moon. Though the full, uh, the Sukla Paksha is seven to seven. But for a very good Chandra Adi Yoga, uh, at least 70% the moon must be there. 70% the moon is there and the benefits of, occupy the strength of the yoga. Even if the moon is 40%, even if it is still there, it is still a yoga. There is no doubt it is a yoga. But this, it all depends on the strength of, and one of them is exalted. Mercury, one of them is strong. It is, it is very, very good. In his own house is strong. It is very, very important. So they, they must not be in a fall because they're a very tricky house. Six, seven, eight is a very, very tricky house. Okay, so you must understand this yoga properly. This is a powerful ruler owning vast lands, healthy, wealthy, long. It gives you complete longevity, 100 years. Has no enemies, is valorous, very fortunate, happy, renowned, high status. Almost every aspect the the what you say of what you can imagine is blessed. A person who has six, ten, seven, and eight are benefit. You, you must never apply it separately. I have 6th house Jupiter, is a, it, uh, 5, 25% Chandra Adi or 8th house you, uh, you have, Shukra you should not say. Only when all three of them are there. Preferably in 6, 8, eight but though classic says it can be together in one house or if it's split in two, 2 and 1 also, it, it gives this. So uh, it's very difficult for me to pick up an example. I saw Bill Gates having this combination. Jupiter in the 6th, Mercury in the 7th. Though it is silly uh, with all these planets, he has many other yogas also. You can see uh, uh, in Bill Gates, immediately he, he has a Chandrati yoga in his horoscope. Okay. Anybody have any doubts on this? You can ask me. This is another very, very important yoga. After you finish this, uh, actually you should go to Gedakeshri yoga um, uh, next, but uh, you will have to take Chandrati yoga. Usually the usual doubts will you come be uh, um, uh, is the planets to be separate all the or all the planets can be uh, let's say all the even will three benefits in the sixth still will it cause the yoga yes it will cause the yoga it will not allow you the sixth house to function at all twelfth house negativity and sixth house is totally cancelled so, so somewhere imagine like the sixth and seventh eighth house are front of you. So the moon receives the blessings of, of uh, it's not only in the fifth, seventh, from the six, seven, eight, the moon receives a radiation. It's also known um, uh, a planet in seventh from the sun is very powerful. Yes, Rima. Sir, a basic question. When we hmm. have these planets, like from what I've heard, six, seven, eight, you need to have them individually. But when you're yeah. saying, let's say eight thousand, I have three planets. Hmm. 
and they are aspecting second noun. So all benefits will promote. But yes. isn't it better to have all those benefits in the second house so that, I mean, if we have to consider a wealth factor for somebody. Yeah, good. But you, you, okay, you need longevity also. No? Three benefits will give you 100 years longevity. In second house will give you a lot of longevity. Yes, the benefits are aspecting it. But it is not, here you will have 100 years longevity, let's say with 50% 50, 50 wealth. Here, you, uh, if all the three benefits are in the second house, it will give you 100% wealth, but 50% longevity, which is better. I'll Tell take me. the wealth. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wealth you should have, to, and you need uh, life also to enjoy. Oh. Mm, true. Hmm. Okay. So the, the first benefit, see, when, when you have a, a benefit like Jupiter, Venus in the eighth house, it gives you, immediately, you know, it promotes longevity. You do not have the evil effects of uh, Jupiter in the eighth. It's like a protection. The people in the other world protect you. That's the meaning of a benefit in the eighth house. Uh, invisible being is always protecting is the meaning of a planet in the eighth house. Seventh house, we know it's a Kendra. Sixth house, all the negativities are, are cut. But when it, they are separately, it is different. They get diffused, the, uh, the meaning changes totally. Only when all three of them are together, it becomes a benefit. Even if they are together in the sixth or in the eighth, three planets in sixth or three planets in the eighth also, the yoga is there. But I think the, the version, the best version will be six, seven, and eight. But even three planets in the uh, sixth or three planets in the eighth, is, so you have to read it accordingly. You, you should not say three planets in the eighth from the moon, benefit is bad. Even in the eighth, benefits is very, very good. Okay, any other doubts? Okay. The, okay, next, very, very important Luna Yoga is Agajagasri Yoga. Again, this is a very misunderstood yoga. Everybody thinks Jupiter in a Kendra of the moon uh, constitutes yoga. It's very Parasara and Asara William. Everybody have made it very, very clear. Jup it is not Jupiter and a Kendra from the moon creates this. You need one more benefit to aspect of the moon. Only then, if Jupiter in a Kendra from the moon is only Kesari yoga, you wanted a Geja and Kesari, elephant and lion, to form the yoga, you need Venus or Mercury to aspect the moon. It is very, very only then, uh, what is it, the Geja Kesari. Or every, in, in uh, let's say, uh, in one month, uh, you will have uh, 10 days, uh, Geja Kesari Yoga will always be there. So 30% uh, of the people, 10% is always will have Geja Kesari Yoga. So it, uh, it, uh, see, moon must be strong, Jupiter must be strong, both must be strong. And the strength of both of them is necessary. And you, you should have Venus aspecting. I think Venus aspecting is fantastic. Venus aspecting, among, imagine uh, what is a moon, is uh, uh, exalted moon with Venus and Mercury in the seventh and Jupiter in the fourth or tenth house. It's a fantastic yoga. And the seventh house, Venus. So naturally, if it is asked to aspect moon, it has to be either with the moon or it must be in the seventh from the moon. So imagine what I say. There is another, so you need another planet, one more planet in a Kendra. So it is not Jupiter moon alone in a Kendra. You need one more planet in Kendra or Oh, yeah, there is no other option. What I say, oh, one more benefit, Mercury, Jupiter. There is no other. So you, it is, it is more of two benefits in the Kendra of the Moon, which constitute Gajakesari Yoga. Though Jupiter is the person creating it, you need to have Venus with or in the seventh, or Mercury with or with a Moon. You need to uh, have this yoga. Some people say no, it is not the aspect Moon. If it is in that, uh, even in a Kendra uh, 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 aspecting Jupiter, also some classics is. But I think. What is the you know, moon is what creates the yoga and Jupiter is what pro, or what is say delivers the yoga. So it is better if it it is aspects of the moon. There are other versions of of it. See, Rajan adds Mercury association with the moon or being the fifth cancels get the yoga. Uh, when Kumara Swami has a different, don't get confused. He has a different way of explaining it. But this is the basic education yoga: wealthy, intelligent, virtuous, royal favors. Okay. Just look at uh, uh, Dwayne Johnson's horoscope. Venus, moon in the Kendra from the Lagna. See, moon is Jupiter is in the own house. Moon, the 11th Lord, in the Lagna Kendra, aspected by Venus. If you take the Gemini aspect, it is also Nietzsche, Banga, Mercury, Venus. Both are aspecting. See the yoga. It is all, it's a Gajagashri yoga, a complete Gajagashri yoga, aspected by two benefits. Moon, Jupiter conjunction, aspected by Venus and Mercury. 
fantastic yoga by itself you don't need any other yoga moon with jupiter aspect of venus and mercury what tells you want you don't need anything else there is a rule all that is there goes everything get cancels if venus is aspect moon is aspect by two benefits you have three benefits in a beneficial sign why will why will you not be very famous so you need to see which is what is how a yoga forms so this is a, such a powerful yoga this is how you love to see how many benefits are is moon in a beneficial sign uh, how many benefits are in uh, aspect in moon or associated with the moon is the first thing in the horoscope you left us before and in fact it, no other yoga will form let's say it's amavasya yoga, uh, and what i say any every other yoga will not function at all so it is the strength of the moon the beneficence of the moon the, the paksha of the moon and benefics and the uh, moon are very very important there are certain things where even saturn and mars also constitute a yoga Okay. See this. This is John Travolta sir. This Lagna Lord itself becomes moon. It is a full moon. It's almost full. It's Pratipada. Moon is also. It's almost full. It is in the second house, and it is Jupiter is in the tenth house. So it is a clear. What is it? It's not Gajakesari alone. You know there is another Chandra Yoga called a benefic in the tenth from the moon is Amala Yoga or Amala Kirti Yoga. so uh, uh, when jupiter is in the 10th it is just not gajakesari it is also amala kirti yoga and here moon is also aspected by mercury and venus lagna lord a full moon almost full moon aspected by two benefics with jupiter in the see now you look at the horoscope in, in moment you look at the horoscope there is nothing great what is saying mercury sun venus in the 8th house what is the greatness but when you understand it is a gajakesari yoga of the highest order because all the three benefics are aspecting the moon so the best will be all the three benefics so jupiter is in akendra and mercury venus are aspect this is the best if you see any horoscopes like this way this is you will immediately know this is an outstanding world famous horoscope even three benefics what what is a jupiter is in akendra and two one one benefic is enough when there are two benefic you can say this is uh, what is a out of the world and how it is strengthened this moon is it's a full moon and what moon is just not a full moon moon is just a lagna lot there is other yogas from the moon all the kendras are also okay there are many many yogas in the forest the uh, what is it is a sa yoga there oh, and so many other yogas are there. but here the basic most foundation yoga gajakesari a full gajakesari yoga is not jupiter and the kendra from the moon jupiter Uh, in the kendra of the moon as there is you need one benefic to aspect it so there is two benefics is uh, necessary to complete gajakesh this is what is there in parasri okay this is julia roberts horoscope see this beauty jupiter moon venus in the second house so see this gajakesh ray about higher this lagna lord ninth lord jupiter with venus in the second house there are many other yogas in the horoscope also but the most important you will have to understand it an unsuli only benefics no malefic influence it is a fantastic but i say of this is all this is all fantastic to have anybody has jupiter moon venus in the second it can be just simply superb this is a raj yoga you have everything in life no you have fame you have renown you have money your prosperity you have everything in life there's some you need something else to come and destroy even if there is some other destruction in the horoscope it will not function because moon is what gives you results no other plan whatever affliction is there in the horoscope if moon alone is unsullied is with what i say with benefit no you will not face you will not experience any problems but you have all the yogas in the horoscope but if you have an afflicted week moon you will not experience anything at all it will only be there but you will not experience so it is very very important in a horoscope to check the strength you might be a billionaire but you will have moon rahu aspected by a benefic or it is near uh, tamas or with mandi you can see what i say it is not that he will not be um, there will be other combination of horoscope raj yogas will be there it will make him but he will not enjoy he will never be a happy person even at all the yogas are are missing but only moon alone is unsullied is a person who is always well contented and and is happy with what he has so it is very important to have a good moon in the horoscope that's the meaning of understanding the luna yoga is first okay once you know sakta yoga there is something called opposite to sakta yoga 
So the opposite to Sagata Yoga is Jupiter in the 6, 8. Some classics say 6, 8 and 12 from the moon. What is the problem? 6, 8 and 12 from the moon is 12th is also causes an Anabha Yoga. So, but some classics say 6 and 8, 12 from the moon. That's what is given. But some people argue if it's 12 from the moon, it is Anabha Yoga. So somewhere, so it is only 6 and 8. So I've mentioned, so many other people say 6 and 8. So anybody having Jupiter in the 6th and 8th from the moon means Sakata Yoga. So you know what is Sakata? Sakata means wheel. So there is an ups and downs, ups and downs. He goes up, comes down. Goes up, comes down. So you have to restart life again and again. There's many times you'll have to, like a Punar Pusa born. No? The Punar Pusa Nakshatra effect is the same. You have many restarts uh, in life. Mostly is unfortunate, but is sadness. So what happens now? What is if there is 6 and 8? House. Is is it is there any cancellation? The cancellation is if Moon and Jupiter are very, very strong, it is not cancelled totally to an extent. Or Jupiter or Moon are in a Kendra. Or there is Anabha, Sunabha, Durtra, or an Chandradi Yoga is forms. There is a partial cancellation of Sagata Yoga. It's not it completely cancelled. So let's say, what is it? Jupiter is in 6 8 from the Moon, but it's in a Kendra from Lagna. So it is not lost. Everything is not lost. Or there is another benefit in, in the fourth from the moon. The Jupiter is not there. Venus is there in the moon. So it is not a complete Sakata Yoga. There is a balance. You have Jupiter, Venus and Mercury in the Kendra from the moon. So that supports. So it is not lost. But still Jupiter in the sixth day, you will always, it, a horoscope, when you want to know which is the biggest evil in the horoscope, this is Jupiter in a Kendra from the moon or it is in sixth day. If Jupiter is in the fifth, and I have not written, but I, if Jupiter is in the fifth and ninth, it is called Gauri Yoga. So Jup if Jupiter is in the seventh from the moon, it is a Gajagestri Yoga and a Gauri Yoga together. Like Jupiter is in the tenth, uh, then it is a Amala, Amala Yoga and a Gajagestri Yoga. Okay, this, this is a particular uh, horoscope example. Challenging financial life. What do you say? He married what you say, filed divorce, unable to get divorce, 15 years divorce is still going on. His, with his, uh, his job is very, very difficult. So he's, uh, if he lost his father very early in life. Just a very normal, see, imagine getting married and then uh, what is, you can't lift the wife. You have a kid and you can't see the kid. And he's, what is, he can't divorce and get married. Just blocking everything is getting blocked. Just look at the horoscope. First thing, Lagna Lord in the sixth, Jupiter in the eighth. So neither Jupiter and Moon are in in a Kendra from the Lakta. There are other uh, other uh, uh, factors are also not supporting the horoscope. You can see a Papakatri, Lagna Papakatri is also. So this is a very very important example of Sagata. This is another see see this particular horoscope very very important. This female, the, in moon, there's a Jupiter and there's a, a lorry went over her stomach. There was a question, will she survive? Will she survive? What about to say? She was in the ICU. So one month she was in the ICU. So the question came, will she survive? Jupiter is in a Kendra from the Lakna. She came back. She got married. A whole uterus was damaged and had to be removed. Jupiter is in the eighth. Yes, it did give the effect. In its period itself, it gave. Jupiter in the eighth. But but just because from the Lagna Kendra she survived. But it did give the Sagata Yoga effect. There are other strong aspects in the horoscope also are there. But this happened in Moon Jupiter period. The, naturally, what I want to say, the Sagata Yoga will, is at the worst in a Moon Dasa or Jupiter under this. This is very, very important. You know, when I was learning astrology, uh, all of us, we just learned, knew about Sagata and everybody is looking in the horoscope. Do I have Gedekesari or Sagata? Oh, you have Sakata. Anybody who learns astrology, the first thing they'll call me and say, Sir, I do I have Sakata Yoga or not? Looks like I have Sakata. There is uh, Jupiter is in the sixth, eight. Or they, do I have Kematuruma Yoga? It will be the, all the beginners of astrology. Once they learn, first thing they'll note in the horoscope is this Kematuruma and Sakata. They'll get worried. I don't have any planet in 212 in the moon. Do I have Kematuruma? What is it? Am I going to be lonely in life? A Kema Druma, if there is Gajagesri Yoga, it is cancelled. Okay, so it's very, very important. Okay, see this particular chart. Another variation, person had accident and death. Jupiter is nature, is eighth from the moon. This person was, was what is it, he died in an accident. 
So there is no compensation, neither Jupiter and Moon are in a Kendra from the Lagna. So Jupiter is badly placed from the Moon and it is not compensated from the Lagna. There is no other compensation. So this is the effect of a When you see a horoscope, it is very, very important to see if a Sagata Yoga. Is Jupiter, there are two malefics in the eighth uh, uh, or two malefics in the Moon. There are many other facts. But Jupiter the connection between Jupiter and Moon is very, very important. Are they in Kendra? If they are in Gona, it is a Gauri Yoga. If they are in, in 6A8, it is a Sakata Yoga. You must note the horoscope. If it is there, or at least Jupiter and Moon must be in a Kendra. Okay. Any doubts on this Sakata Yoga? Yes, Rima, tell me. Sir, regarding this Sakat Yoga, I think you're right. Um, I have a chart where a close cousin Luli, Aquarius Lagna, she has Jupiter in the Lagna and Moon in the sixth. Okay. Six Even hmm. though Moon has some strength. Hmm. Right? I mean, own, own sign. I don't know. If hmm. you... yeah, and, Jupiter, and... See, Jupiter, Moon in strength and Jupiter in Lagna, so it's a partial cancellation. But, but then still, she does but have still, a lot of... Uh, still, what, see, what happens is, uh, if it is not supported by other planets. It mean it's in the, what is it? It's not full Sagata Yoga. There's a partial, but then other planets are disturbed. It will disturb it further. It's very important to analyze the horoscope which has a Sagata Yoga. One more, two, two more malefic combination. The horoscope will pull down the horoscope very badly. Like uh, I read somewhere, if Moon is own sign, it will not work, and all those things. But she does have challenges. So you're right. Somewhere it does give an effect. Maybe a Milder one, but um, see, in case Jupiter's you have it like immediately when, when Jupiter is in the sixth day, you must have a strong Venus and Mercury, or uh, there is another mass is very strong, or Sun is very strong, or Lagna Lord is very strong. So it needs immediately some other very strong support. If, if, if Jupiter is in a Kendra corner, you, if, if you are, even if you have a weak Lagna or you have uh, you don't have much powerful planet, does not matter. But when Jupiter goes to the sixth eighth. What is it? it is very important. Other aspect of the horoscopes must be strong to compensate this. This is a very big lacuna. This is like you are having a, a hole in your house. Imagine you have a hole in the house. What happens? Anybody can come in. Anything can happen. No, it is like that. So you need extra or uh, what is say precautions to keep it safe. Thanks. Yeah. Yes, sir. Tell me, sir. Mr. RR. RR goes sir? for Indian Sanjeev. Yes, sir. Sir. Uh, yes. Just chart, you have uh, decided that uh, male is fighting with the divorce case, but his uh, seventh house was in Subkartari. I just recall the chart. Which one? Uh, previous chart, sir, the male was. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, tell me. Yes, yes sir. sir. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. The sev seventh house is in Subkartari. Why yeah. divorce happened, sir? Why? Because where, is, Lagna, uh, where is the seventh lot? Saturn? Uh, seventh Lord Saturn in 12th house. Sir. Okay, oh, well, how, oh, how, how oh. is Shukra, how Shukra place? Shukra is in a Papakatri. Yes, sir. Hmm. And Lagan and also second house in and, uh, and second Lagan house. Lagan also in Papakatri. Yeah, and second house has two malefics. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah. If you go into Navamsa, seventh Lord is Nietzsche and Lagna Lord goes to the 12th house. You can you you can apply. This is only I'm teaching the yogas in the Rasi chart. You can apply the same in the Varga charts also. Nakshatra is there. And then how Nakshatra comes to play, and then the Varga role will play. How much compensation comes with Varga? Where it will come next? Yeah, Sanjeev sir. Yes sir. Yes sir. So I have a chart which is yeah. Sakata Yoga. Uh, mm -hmm. Moon is in. Jupiter's uh, Rashi Sagittarius. Lag lagna, Lagna? Uh, Jupiter is actually 12th from the Lagna Mithun, from uh, Mithuna. Mm, Mithuna Lagna. Ju yeah, Mithuna Lagna, Jupiter is 12th from it. Oh, uh, yeah. And it has, uh, it's afflicted by uh, Rahu. Oh, makes uh, it worse. Sir. Mm. But mm. the life has been blessed and highly successful and no ups and downs. No, no. See, this, uh, that's what I'm saying. See, this is one aspect. Jupiter is uh, like grace, like God. Yeah. Okay, this is doesn't mean if you can have Shukra strong, you can have Mars strong, you can strong. So it doesn't mean everything is gone because of this. 
what is right, it? Right, right. Uh, see, you in, in case you have, look at the other planets in the horoscope. See, that's yeah, what I'm saying. The other if, combinations if, are very if strong. There is, so. If there is Sakata Yoga there, other aspects of the horoscope must be very, very strong. Does not okay. mean Sakata Yoga is all totally lost. It, it doesn't oh. mean. Uh, see, but again, this is money. You know, where, where the Sakata Yoga will come, when most dire moments of your life, there is something called grace and protection. That is when, uh, uh, what is it, when uh, Jupiter's Union. position is very important. How much savior is going to come? When you are in an accident or in an ICU, very, very serious, who comes to save you? Or what is it, which beautiful doctor will come and save you? Doesn't That that time, Sakata Yoga, I mean, Jupiter's position will come. You might have a strong Venus, you might have a strong Mars in the horoscope. You might have other five, five and nine lots quite strong. So it does not mean Sakata Yoga makes you a beggar or anything like that. I have seen billionaires having Sakata Yoga. Many, many billionaires having Sakata Yoga. Because other aspects of the horoscopes are nice. But when you start to analyze our horoscope, this is like a very important, important aspect of the horoscope. If this is weak, see for a normal average, Sakata Yoga will affect a middle class person. Sakata Yoga will affect very badly. A multi-billionaire means he has other, definitely other five, five nine, ten, lagna, lot, or other, many other, there's so many other yogas are compensating. But when you come to an average person, most is missing most of the yogas. Very average Sakata Yoga will mean a lot. It will be very, a, a, a lot. In fact, I've seen Gajagaya Sri Yoga. I was, in fact, I was looking for my example horoscope. I have a list of all my mates. Anybody, my maid comes, I'll note their horoscope for poverty related. My gardener, my maid, my watchman, I have all these horoscopes. I have, I saw half of them having uh, Gajaga Sri Yoga. Oh. I was, I was looking for Sakata Yoga. I was thinking they would easily have Sakata Yoga on the horoscope. But I never have, none of the people had Sakata. They all had Gajaga Sri Yoga. Wow. But, but where the Gajaga Sri Yoga falls, falls is very important. It can fall in six, eight from the Lakhna. You can have a malefic sitting in between blocking it. So all that will get cancelled. So some yoga will form and how it gets cancelled also matters. This is, I'm just telling you how it forms. There are many other aspects when you go inside, how a yoga will not function. It will also okay. matter. Okay. Ma ma yeah. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, Krishna Kumar. Yes, sir. Sir, in that, uh, the other example of uh, Sakati Yoga, yeah. uh, it was a very, not this one, sir, the next one, I think, uh, where Jupiter was debilitated, actually. Yeah, yes, sir. In this case, uh, if you see the Sakat Yoga, actually is, is full-blown because Jupiter is in the sixth. It is debilitated, aspected by Saturn, and uh, yeah. uh, Moon is also in uh, some sort of a Kendrum. Mm. And, and, of and the Lagna is weak. And the Lagna is, mm. yeah. The Lagna Lord in the eighth, though yeah. with two benefits, it is not strong from Chandra. That's the problem. Yeah. See, Ju Jupiter, see, the meaning is, see, Jupiter is like God. When you want to see God in the horoscope, it is where Jupiter is. So how much of God's grace or your Pura Punya is Jupiter? What is it? The Pura Punya in the sense of, uh, uh, what is it? Like a blessing which will come and protect you and guard you and guide you. The guidance is Jupiter. So it's very, very important to have a good Jupiter first from the moon, then from the at least what is say for uh, even 2 and 12, 11 from the Lagna is enough. 2 and 11, Kona we know, Kendra we know, 2 and 11. At least in a, if to have uh, Jupiter and a Kendra or Kona from the moon is blessing. Anybody has, it's a blessing in the horoscope. Okay, I do not have from the moon. At least from the Lagna, I should have it uh, Kendra, Kendra, Kona or 2 and 11. If it is in 3, 6, 8 and 12 and weak from the Lagna, and then I have to have every other aspect of my horoscope strong. For an average person, this can mean a lot. For a billionaire or a very good person, like what you say, the, the, uh, uh, Jupiter alone does not matter. But then, what is the meaning of lacking a weak Jupiter? You, he will know in his life. Peace of mind, you know. Mm -hmm. What you say, it is peace of mind is very, very important. You might have everything, but always tormented, never happy, some fear always there, but still lucky. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, Rima. Tell me. There's one version of this uh, six eight placement, which is also like you know considered as a as an exception. Hmm. So I don't know if uh, this is that is going to be discussed today or will it be inside the course. I'm not sure. So it is called Mukti Yoga, which is yeah, a, yeah. If it is strong, Mukti yeah. Yoga says if if they are very very strong, it becomes Mukti Yoga. Ah, so okay, that is other variations. Many other variations that I will discuss in the class. Yeah. Sure. Okay.
In fact, when I put it today for uh, before starting the class, I asked, and there's one person uh, as I also mentioned about this Mukut Yoga. Mm. Rima ji, you can unmute. Yeah. yeah. Sir, what if um, like Jupiter is weak, like debilitated and all? Mm. So what sources of strength do you see for um, Gaj Kesri? No, def definitely say what I say, it must, uh, Jupiter must have a good lordship. It's very important. Mm. Or Jupiter must be in a friendly house. First, in a good house, no? Mm. In, in, in nature, in an enemical sign. No, it, definitely it is uh, uh, a good lordship. This is very, very important. And Jupiter must not be with Rahu Ketu, Jupiter with Sun, Jupiter Marif aspect, disposed of Jupiter in 6, 8, 12. All these things are very, very important. And more important for this, moon must be good. Uh, what is it? Let's say I have 10,000 uh, Jupiter in the 10th. For, uh, what happens if uh, the, if it is an Amavasa Yoga or close to Amavasa? Three days before Amavasa, three days after Amavasa and whatever benefits falls in the, in the Kendra will not work much. Then I am very only left with my Lagna to function for my Lagna. So it's very, very important for Chandra Yoga. The moon must be Stana Bala and Paksha Bala is very, very important. You can't say a Gajagasri Yoga it happens when moon is in Amavasya. Amavasya Yoga and Jupiter Nicha. There is no, even in conjunction, there is no there is no Gajagasri. You can't, there is no Gajagasri. Classics mentions this. Amavasya will not give and Jupiter Nicha will not give or moon Nicha will not give Gajagasri Yoga. Even though technically it is there. The yoga place. So, so the thing first thing is Gajagasri. It is not Jupiter in a Kendra. It is also aspected by Venus. Okay. Okay. Then the last of the yoga is Chandra Mangala Yoga. So anybody remembers who, who has Chandra Mangala Yoga? A very famous person has Chandra Mangala. Moon, Mars. Though the classics actually, if you take the classic version, they give a very negative <laughs> effect of it. D-base, uh, many connections, this, that. But in for Kali Yoga, practical, not me, Bhiviraman himself says, what is it? This gives very good results. Yes, sir. RR, sir. Yes, sir. Tell me, sir. Sir, Narendra Modi. Yes, yes. Narendra Modi, either in Lakhna or in the sex. Yes, Rima. We also wanted to tell Narendra Modi. <laughs> so the most famous person, what is it, you can say, oh, I, uh, uh, yes, Narendra Modi. Moon and Mars, especially, give this. Though the classics give it as a negative yoga. They don't like... Uh, uh, I'm sorry, I put this as Guru Mangala. It is Chandra Mangala Yoga. It's not uh, yeah, Chandra Mangala. So extremely wealthy. It's mostly it is wealthy. Heroic, courageous, Saravali alone gives these uh, very good things. Most of the other books give it as a negative uh, yogas. But I've seen an act, I've seen Bivaraman also saying in his experience, this is a very good. It, it's very, very common. One yoga, even Gajagesri, I have seen. It has to work. There are you know, Gajagasri is tough. You need to have uh, in, and a Venus to, have, uh, to happen. But one will definitely a uh, conjunction of Moon and Mars together is will give you a lot of money. You, it will never miss any any house. It is you have Moon and Mars. I have seen a yoga which will definitely work. There are other yogas. You, I have Dharmakanda yoga. I have this yoga, that yoga doesn't. But Chandra Mangala yoga, it's so common to to see it, and you will definitely it will definitely work. Naturally, you need to have moon and master. See, Rajnigan's horoscope. I will already show you, told you uh, Krishna on Onassis horoscope, same horoscope, moon and master together. He's already, I told you, what are the horoscopes he's got? He's got Sunaba, Anaba, Durtura. Now you have one more add to it, moon, exalted mass with moon. This is already moon, is a Vibrita Rajyaga. Okay, sixth Lord moon in the twelfth house with uh, malefic mass. It's a Vibrita Rajyaga forming a, 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 a Ch Chandra Mangala Yoga. There is a benefit in the second, there are two benefits in the twelfth. There are benefits surrounding the moon. Just see the amount of yogas. If uh, there are so many other yogas. So you if you see Surya, so uh, Surya Yoga, there are so many. There, uh, there are so many other yogas sitting in the arts. So this is a very, very uh, powerful yoga. See, this is look at Bill Gates horoscope. I just gave a different version of this thing. Many actually the classics mention only conjunction. They'll say together, but what is say uh, many other commentators I've seen even mutual aspect also gives. What is say oh, in, uh, in both are mutually placed. It also gives. So Bill Gates is, is a big example of this particular yoga. He has a chandradi, and he also has a 
chandramangal yoga what more you want he has many other yogas this this three planets has so many jaimini yogas it is this i will take bill gates horoscope to tell how many yogas he picks up for being the most richest person here i am just mentioning this chandra chandra yoga itself he's got the two best chandra yogas okay just for anybody learning astrology he has both chandra adi and chandra mangala one of the few chandra yogas he has both of them okay this and then i'll give you some basics of moon and raj yoga a strong auspicious moon aspected by jupiter and venus is the one of the biggest prerequisites for a raj yoga jupiter aspect on moon uh, in the day and venus aspect on the moon is more powerful to activate raj yoga so what is a uh, understand that there's one rider so gajagesri yoga for a day one is more powerful than a night one so venus uh, aspecting or venus in a kendra for a night bond is more puff so there is a small differentiation get get to yoga for a day bond works better if so venus is in the 10th or 7th or 4th or with venus is more puff there is a vasumati yoga or there is something called upachaya yoga both are same moon and dana yoga when benefits occupy 3 6 10 11 it is not all must occupy even two or there three or there four or there together so benefits of occupying 3 6 10 11 and level not that the kendras are not important the kendras konas are important the 211 are important but this is by itself as a definition by the classics vasumati yoga then there is a very very important thing you all have to understand is the sun and moon's distant matters are lot how what is a uh, the whole horoscope works so the, what is it is sun and moon usually for other planets must be in kendras but it's just the opposite only if the sun and moon are in 3 6 9 and 12 it is good it is not good for what is a uh, sun and moon to be in mutual kendras so it is called an adama yoga so what is everything happens blocked what is it in a horoscope when moon sun is in a kendra from the moon it is never good if moon is in a panabra 2 5 8 11 it is a middle average well, it is the effects are felt average but if moon and sun are in 3 6 9 9 and 12 what i say this is a very so when looking at luna yoga it is very very important to see where the sun is so uh, uh, anaba sunaba or durtra adi everything when the sun is also on 3 6 9 and 12 and then the yoga is complete so what i say this is very important not to have what i say sun in a kendra so uh, this is another important thing when you look at the horoscope the, the, what i say where is the sun and moon normally when you look at tv Uh, the tidis uh, in 12 3 6 9 will be good and 1 4 7 10 will be next the daridra yoga is caused by moon. moon together with the sun in a malefic kamsa and aspected by a nature planet moon with rahu ketu aspected by a malefic malefic in the fourth from moon or lagna moon is aspected by benefic defeated in planetary war and is with the nodes moon in a kendra or kona is in debilitation or enemy sign and jupiter is in the 12th and jupiter in the 6th or hand 12th from the moon sitting in a malefic sign aspected by enemy planet from a mobile sign or the malefic sign occupied by moon is in a mobile sign moon has no aspect of jupiter so the compensation for this is moon in shubhakatri or with benefic aspect by jupiter will cancel all daritra yoga moon in shubhakatri with jupiter aspect so the other aspects in case you do not have adi yoga or the gajageshri yoga moon there is sunaba anaba so there is uh, it's a durtara yoga and aspect by jupiter that's enough to cancel all not chandra daridra yoga any daridra yoga the horoscopes so moon or venus in kendra aspected by jupiter cancels that any daridra yoga in the horoscope or any uh, other negative aspects in the horoscope these two combinations are enough to cancel if anybody has this two powerful combination so it is simple i have to simplify and tell you that that the yoga is moon in 6 8 12 with malefic aspected by malefic causes the yoga moon with benefics in a good strong houses causes dana yoga raj yoga very very good yogas okay anybody has any doubts okay yeah. yeah what up anybody was we on to ask any uh, your things on the moon i fix on the moon
Reba, no doubts? Okay. All clear, sir. Yeah, good. Mas raised the hand. Yeah, yes, Reema's asking. Yeah, Reema. Sir, Chandra Mangal, I was going to say Queen Elizabeth. Yeah, you no, know, many. I just marked two. I have many for the class too. Many, just, uh, I pick it up. So many people uh, are having. And in fact, some some charts are so good, for example. You have seen Sri Sri Ravi Shankar's chart? No, he's rich. Oh my God, he's rich. <laughs> he's, he's, that's <laughs> bet. Anybody learn his horoscope, he has some four exaltations. <laughs> Uh, so mm -hmm. what is it? Some horoscopes are just lovely for, for a, a, an example chart. Some charts I uh, my favorite chart because every yoga will form, form. Some few charts I keep repeating, repeating. Where, you, know, you he has if, some people have every yoga sitting the horoscope. So some. And sir, when are, do they um, fructify? See, okay, I will tell you. There is some ninety yogas. In, by Jadaka Yoga Vali. There's some particular classic where in, in that book, the yogas, 90 yogas mentioned there, comes with a time period. Mm. 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, 50 years. Certain uh, yogas, like Nabasa yogas, function throughout life. Certain yogas have the sum. So depending on the yogas, either it is throughout life, uh, certain things are uh, what is it, based on the sum. Certain yogas comes with a definition itself. This yoga will function on the twentieth year. It will function within three years. It'll it'll reach its peak and it'll uh, and, and the thirty uh, fifth year it'll uh, it'll fructify completely. So there the yogas there are yogas like that. Nine, uh, some yogas which comes like that. Some mostly it, it is it, it depends. See an, an afflicted lona yoga if it is not just a base. It will function from immediately. You will see it immediately. You do, uh, chandra yogas are always immediately. Lagna yogas will come later. So, uh, 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 and where the yogas are formed? If the yogas form, this is where Nabasa yoga matters. Is the yogas forming 1 to 4, 4 to 7, 7 to 10, 10 to 12? Okay. So, the, the, where they, they form, it will show when is the period of the yoga formation. Uh, yoga the formation eight. is 7 to 10, it will come later. Uh, immediate, uh, yogas eight. are there 1 to 4 immediately. Form. A planet in the second house from Lagna, Chandra, you will see immediately. Uh, to happen. A planet sitting, uh, you have a, a very good planet sitting in the 10th, 11th uh, house, it will come a little later in life. But if the Lagna and Chandra are, are having benefit planets, if the yogas are caused by Lagna, there is something called Chandra, Chandra the yogas and Lagna the yogas. So Lagna is part of yoga or Chandra is part of yoga, it will be there from birth. It is not a time bound period, it is from birth, it, it will be there. There are some, some which is not dependent on Lakna and Chandra. Then the yogas is dependent on uh, a desa. It is very important to, uh, 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 for a desa to fructify it. Like Dharma Karma Yoga, you know, in 9th and 10th Lord. What is it? Naturally, profession comes. Only he, he will. If 10th Lord is involved, a profession has to come. Sometimes 7th Lord is involved. The yoga is uh, formed by a 7th Lord. Marriage has to come. If it is in the 5th house, what is it? Once he gets a child, uh, there is something called activation. If Venus and seventh Lord are part of a yoga. After marriage, it will activate. If uh, if Jupiter and fifth house are formed, on, immediately he gets a child, the yoga will start activating. It is not dependent on uh, a desa. It is act it, because of an event, it will activate. Tenth house, the moment he joins work, Dharma Karam, the yoga, a good plan at tenth house, the moment he starts working, his life will change totally. The Viparita Raj Yoga, the moment he faces a danger in his life, what is it? Yoga will start for him. Rajiv Gandhi, what is it? His mother dies. Evening, he becomes the prime minister of the country. So the activation is here. A death must come. There are horoscopes when eighth house is involved. A death will activate your Raj Yoga. So there are certain things. What is it? An event in your life will activate. So there is a particular yoga where a uh, death can have it. An accident can activate a yoga. A fire can activate. Something negative in your house will happen and activate a Raja yoga also. It can be the other way also. You can get uh, some, an event can happen and there can start. An event can happen and you pick up your uh, Raja yoga also. So either way it can happen. You can you can see si similarly for certain people, you will get married and you will have one close father mother die on the same day or two days. So there are simultaneous you know, certain things happening also.
a lovely question, very good question, but it's a huge answer, part of the whole session. We are, you know, each yoga we'll mention when to have. It's very important. Uh, this is the beginning. We are, what is it? We have uh, uh, on 90 yogas from Jadaga Yoga Valley to understand. Then you have Parasri itself on 40, 50, very important yogas to, to understand what is the meaning. See, understanding yogas is understanding horoscope in its depth. What is it? You'll have to understand the nuances of the horoscope. It's very, very hard to understand what is a Kendra, what is a uh, planet, uh, how important is this Apokalima, Panabra, Kendra, Kona. It, only if you understand the malefic, benefic in these houses, what do they mean? In fact, what I say, the yogas of uh, Parasra is only between Bhavas and planets. So fifth and ninth lord joins together, or ninth and tenth lord is supposed to be a Rajrata. But uh, in Jadaga Yoga Valley, the, the, the yoga will be the disposter of the ninth lord, the disposter of the fifth lord, conjoins and sixth in the tenth house. It is only the disposed and the yogas will come. So it is so, and the yoga will not come from the lagna or the moon. The yoga will come from the lord. The ninth, the ninth lord from the ninth house conjoins with Jupiter in the eleventh house is a Raja Yoga. So this, this is what you have to understand. So this is an analysis, method of analysis. It's just not Kendra, Kona conjoined together will form yoga. If six, eight uh, joins with another planet, destroy this from the ninth lord, from the fifth lord, from the tenth lord, uh, or they disposed their joints. Some interesting things you will see in Jada really not mentioned in any other classic books. Some very, very interesting 20, 30 yo yogas. You will understand the subject of astrology better. The yogas will take you to a next level after you know basics. And just mastering at least, uh, uh, what is it, these 300 yogas will take you to, to, to understand a horoscope better. Where to see first. Which which will destroy? You have Arishta Yogas. I will be teaching Arishta Yogas. The Ridra Yogas will be there. You need to teach Sanyasi Yogas. Is very important. Raja Yogas. Then after the Parastri Yogas, the Jaimini aspects of seeing a Yoga is very important. From Aruda Lakna, the Karagas, the Chara Karagas from Aruda Lakna, what do they mean? AK, AMK com combined together, what? Dara Karagas for money. It will give you Dana, it is a, a dana Yoga. So the Jaimini aspect is also very important to understand. So we start with the Luna Yogas as the first most important thing for understanding. So this is a foundation of understanding a horoscope or understanding. Well, these are the basics, most important yogas. Then we will go to Surya Yogas. Then we will go to the Parasri 50 Yogas. Then we will go to Jada Yoga Valley's horoscope. Then Dana Yogas. Then we will uh, we'll go to Raja Yogas. So then we will go into Jaimini Yogas and Jaimini Raja Yogas. Then uh, with a lot of examples, we will see. So this is a whole co composite of yogas you will uh, you will understand, and then when you see the horoscope, and you, what I say, it will be totally a different. Okay. Rajiv wants to ask something. Yeah. Uh, sure. Yes. Yes. Sir. Yes. Sir. Uh, somehow I am unable to raise my hand, so <laughs> I it just kept no uh, <laughs> passing. <laughs> yes. Uh, sir. In see sakat yoga as far as i understand is when jupiter and moon are six eight from each other yes yes so uh the very first chart you showed mm. moon is in the sixth house and jupiter is in the eighth house but yeah. they are 311 from each other yeah so how is that sakat yoga 311 uh, i don't think so 311 from each other no from... moon is in the sixth house of the from lagna mm. And Jupiter was in the eighth house from Lagna, as no, far I, as I remember. Which one? Uh, Sakat Yoga, the very first chart we saw. This one. Huh. See, Moon Jupiter are sitting three eleven from each other. No, no, no. Okay, this, the, uh, yeah, this actually, see, this is this, okay. This alone, I saw. I, I, I just mentioned it works from Lagna. This alone from the Lagna it works. Because, because okay. it is from the Lagna at the 6th house, from the uh, Jupiter is in the 8th house. Okay. See, actually, Sakata Yoga, some people say 6, 8, 12. Some people say it is in, once, if it is, it's not a Gajigasri Yoga, it forms a, uh, uh, it, it's a bad yoga. It is supposed to be in a Kendra. So the worst part, it is 6, 8, 12. Then some arguments comes and say it's not 12 because of the Anabha Yoga effect. But actually 12th house, uh, I will say 12th house also can be bad. 12th house, unless what I say, 
uh, Jupiter is strongly placed. So uh, classics actually give some classics give six eight twelve sector yoga. Ah right. Yeah. Another thing is which uh, hmm. I am a hmm. little. Uh, uh, share Sri Sri Ram Shankar. Uh, uh, which one? Hello. Shri Shri Ravi Shankar's chat, na? you just spoke about it. Right? <laughs> you want it? Okay, I'll close it and share. I'll, I'll do it. Yes, sir. You are tell, uh, Rajiv, sir, tell me. Sir. Ha. So, uh, that that thing I'm still not clear where you said in uh, Sunafa, Anafa, ha. where uh, moon is with uh, a malefic or a Rahu Ketu and uh, then we have to see the degrees. Yeah. Uh, if something is second from the moon, yeah. Okay, then we should see. Can hmm. you give an example? It will be more clear in the mind. Okay, I will, I will tell you. Um, let's say what I say, you are having uh, Jupiter in the second house. Right. Okay, uh, it is sitting in 20 degrees. Your Scorpio, uh, Scorpio moon, Jupiter is in 20 degrees Sagittarius. Right. 10 degrees Kedu is sitting now. In the in, second in, house in, only? In second house only. Okay, okay. Okay. Now, will uh, what is it? Jupiter be in the second house? Ah, uh, so it is blocked. Ah, that's what this is. It's getting blocked. But suppose Ketu was with the moon in Scorpio. With the moon, but it is behind the moon. Then it will cause. Even if it is with the moon and in sec next to the moon, it it will not be in the second. So then it will not cause a blockage. Yeah, no, no, it will cause. It definitely will cause. Between Moon and Jupiter, there is uh, Rahu, uh, Rahu okay. Ketu must not come in between to cause. No, that will right. definitely cause either for Sunaba and Anaba. You must not have Rahu Ketu coming in between. Even Sun, Sun also must not come. Rahu Ketu must not come. Sun, you know, Moon right. will go. Moon, there is no yoga itself. First, see Rahu, see Rahu Ketu coming very close to the Moon. It is very close to an eclipse. No, it is eclipsing the moon. So sun and Rahu Kedu coming itself, the moon becomes very weak. So there is no question of a yoga being formed when Ra Rahu Kedu is uh, with it or even next to it. Uh, 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 it. It is like an eclipse yoga, no? Right, right. Mm -hmm. Got it, got it. Mm -hmm. Even, let's say, what I say, I will say, let's say if Jupiter is in the second, in 10 degree and Kedu is in 20 degree, uh, though uh, technically Anabhaya, it will not be full formed. If Jupiter is conjoined with Ketu. Okay, it is better right. Rahu Ketu do not conjoin in a Sunabhanabha yoga for a yoga. If preferably if they are uh, away from, from the planet, it will be a uh, better combination. Got it. Yeah. Just a sec. Right. I'm wanted a thought. Rats are wanted. Yeah, yeah, one second. Can you see the horoscope? No, no, one second. Uh... Yeah. Have a glance at the horoscope? Mars exalted. Time is twelve o'clock. Yeah. Well, no, that's what, that that that's the time given. Man. I thought it was uh, what is it, a compromised time, but that is what the time they are giving it is. it's a a rated mm. chart. Okay, so mm. thank you. So even then, see, even if it is Lagna's wrong, the, uh, just look at the planets that the is yogas the are there. Yes. Mars exalted, Sun exalted, Moon exalted, Jupiter exalted. One, two, three, four exaltations are there in the horoscope, no? Yes. Uh, so that is a simple analysis. You just need to have the right lakna uh, 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 to have everything formed. Correct. Naturally, is a spiritual person. Jupiter must be in a kendra. Moon, Kedu conjunction. Jupiter must be in a kendra. You can see a strong moon, mass, Jupiter together. There is a Guru Mangala Yoga forming. Even uh, uh, what do you say, um, Sadhguru has a very good horoscope. But this is a very easy horoscope. Guru, okay, there are many rules, but this is actually for a beginner will understand four exaltations. Not that exaltations will give a very a strong thing. 
uh, exaltation and only in certain condition it will work i have uh, many daridra yogas with four exaltations also but i have seen two extremes so uh, i have seen what to say the cm of tamil nadu had four, four exaltation i have many actresses i i know had many exaltation the horoscope i exalt i have seen like rama's horoscope will represent but at the same time what is even uh, i've seen a lot of people uh, my maid uh, has four exaltations i know so many people you would need to have so there are certain rules uh, only then it will function one of the nadi rules is what is say you need to have equal amount of planets in fall in debilitated or combust or gandanda for the ucha to work ucha is like a 20 watts bulb in the horoscope you can't have if you have two uh, 20 watts bulb in the horoscope you will go blind only one can function to break the whole horoscope will stop function and uh, uh, the planets which are getting exalted must not be opposite traits what is a, a planet which is supporting another planet getting exalted is different moon and jupiter getting exalted is different but if a planet in a horoscope moon getting exalted or an opposite saturn getting exalted functioning becomes very difficult malefics getting exalted is a different thing especially mars and saturn getting exalted i have never seen a horoscope function well when mars and saturn gets exalted under certain conditions kamala hasan has uh, mars saturn example uh, uh, karnanidhi has mars uh, saturn exalted it works but under certain conditions so it is very very important when you see uh, more than one one exaltation but more than one exaltation analyze the cap horoscope carefully yes thank you sir thank you yeah. so we have any other questions uh we are having this session uh in the coming month 6th and 13th of october sir will be teaching 300 uh, combinations or yogas i wrote 300 so everyone started thinking bb raman's 300 combinations Oh, actually that was not I, the I don't, I, i don't know if it is 300 it could be more than 300 i don't know yeah but uh, mm -hmm. you told me i will be teaching 300 yogas mm -hmm. at least so that is what i meant with the, yeah mm -hmm. with the thumbnail of the video mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so anyways learning 300 yogas from you sir and then it will be a great opportunity mm -hmm. all do join thank you so much thank you yeah. sir yeah thank you thank you Thank you everybody. Thank you. Thank you everybody. Thank you sir. Thank you. Sir.